بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هذه لكشن 9 for nano chemistry 1 نستمر with historical events اللي already started the previous lecture so 1965 Intel co-founder Godemore described several tendencies he falls on the field of electronics one tendency now known as Moore's law in which he described that the density of transistors on an integrated chip or IC is doubling every 12, 12 months later amended to every two years Moore also noticed that the chip size and costs are shrinking with their growing functionality with the consideration of the transformational effect on the ways people live and work. The basic tendency of Moore's envision has continued for, for 50 years, i.e. to a large extent uh, due to the dependency of the semiconductor development on nanotechnology, in which ICs and resistors have approached the atomic dimensions. So the co-founder Intel, then Mustatmer Gordon Moore, who was a scientist, was Mustatmer in the company Intel, the American company. So Intel co-founder described several tendencies he forced on the field of electronics. It then came to the result of Mustatmer, the result of the experiments that are present. Lahab, multiple experiments. تخص الانتجريتد شيبس هذه الملاحظات فيما بعد استمرت للخمسين سنة اللي بعدها نتيجة للتطور بالنانو تكنولوجي so one thing is now known as now known as the Moore's law فيما بعد عرفت هذه الملاحظات السلوكيات اللي لاحظها من الاحصائيات اللي لاحظها انه سميت بالمورز لو فالفيرست مورز لو والسكند مورز لو ان ويتش هي ديسكرايب ذا دنسيتي اوف ترانزستورز هذا احد الملاحظات او القوانين ان ويتش هي ديسكرايب ذا دنسيتي اوف ترانزستورز اون انتجريتد تشيب اور اي سي از دبلينج افري 12 مانث فلاحظ انه كمية الترانزستورز on integrated chip the density of transistors يعني ال يعني ال amount of transistors on on integrated chip or IC is doubling every twelve months later amended to every two years فالعدد ال number of transistors اللي موجودة على integrated chip تتضاعف every twelve months يعني إذا مساحة ال IC أو integrated chip إذا تبقى ثابتة في ال number of transistors يتضاعف every twelve months later amended or edited يعني to two years. More also notice that the chip size and cost are shrinking with their growing functionality with the consideration of the transformational effect on the ways people on the way people live and work. إذا ملاحظة ثانية إنه الشيب سايز يعني الحجم والكلفة uh, the chip size and the cost are shrinking with their growing functionality اذا السايز ايضا الحجم السايز والكلفة ايضا حسب الفانكشناليتي uh, لهذا الشيب طبعا مع الاخذ بنظر الاعتبار كل ظروف الناس اللي ممكن تستعمل بها الانتجريتد شيبس طبعا هاي الانتجريتد شيبس هي اللي تستعمل بالالكترونيكس The basic tendency of Moore's envision has continued for 50 years I to a large extent due to the dependence of semiconductor development on nanotechnology in which ICs and transistors have approached the atomic dimension إذن هذه الملاحظات اللي already predicted by Gordon Moore استمرت إنه هي تكون صحيحة for 50 years later معناتها لسنين طويلة والتندنسي هذا هو نفسه due to the dependence طبعا هذه استمرارية لأنه بسبب اعتمادية semiconductor developments يعني والالكترونيكس بصورة عامة على nanotechnology in which ICs يعني integrated chips And transistors have approached the atomic dimensions. Then, صارت يعني توصل إلى الاتوميك ليفل. Then Moore's law here 
الملاحظات التجريبية اللي لاحظها من الإحصائيات for example هذا اللي يبين اللي هاي اللي statistics so once again إن هي empirical laws يعني تعتمد على التجربة والإحصائيات والملاحظات ف خرج بهذه ال tendencies ب two laws once again إن هاي two laws استمرت for fifty years نتيجة لتطور النانوتكنولوجي development of تطور ال integrated chips نتيجة لتطور النانوتكنولوجي حتى وصلت إلى atomic level so Moore's first law and Moore's second law القانون Moore's الأول يتعلق ويا الحجم أو ال space required to install a transistor on a chip اللي هو حجم ال integrated chip يصل تقريبا إلى النصف يعني تقريبا يتنصف every 18 months القانون الثاني يتعلق بالكلفة فالكلفة هي تتضاعف every other chip generation ويا كل new generation فالكلفة تقريبا تتضاعف ويا كل new generation اللي هي تكون every 36 almost every 36 months So as I already stated, Goldmore came up with two empirical laws to describe the amazing advance in the integrated circuit electronics. These are Moore's first law stated that the amount of space required to install a transistor on a chip shrinks roughly by half every 18 months. Moore's second law stated that the cost of building a chip manufacturing plant doubles with every other chip generation or roughly every 36 months. In 1974, the first time they used the word nanotechnology. In 1981, the invention of STM. So in 1974, Norio Taniguchi University of Turkey, the word nanotechnology was first used. The term nanotechnology was coined in 1974. He used this word to refer to the production technology in which to get the extra high accuracy and ultra fine dimensions. The precise size and fineness on the order of one nanometer. Then, the 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 use of this term nanotechnology to talk about the size and the large that it reaches with the processes that are related to nanotechnology and the accuracy and the size that it reaches to the order of one nanometer. That is to the one nanometer level uh, scale. In 1981, uh, IBM company invented uh, the STM. So IBM invented a machine which can move a single atoms around. So uh, uh, Gerd Benning and Henrik Bauer invented the scanning tool in microscope or STM at IBM company. They were, uh, they were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1986 for this work at the Zurich Research Lab in 1981. In 1985, the discovery of fullerene, or Sumi Aylan Bill Buckyball, or Buckminster Fullerene. The spatial configuration is 60 atoms of carbon. The spatial configuration of fullerene is the spatial configuration of football. So that's why it's called the basketball. So it's the left one, 12 halqa khamasiya and 20 halqa sudasiya. So of course, this is the number of numbers. It's the reason why it fits in this shape, the curly. It's the one that is the ritual. Small, Robert Cole and Sir Harold. Crypto. So Richard Smalley, Robert Cole, and uh, Harold Crypto discovered C64, which they were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1996. C60 is more commonly known as uh, Buckminster Fuller or Buckyball, as these 60 carbon atoms are arranged into a sphere made up of 12 pentagons and uh, 20 hexagons, exactly like a football. In 1986, Eric Drexler writing with a STM tool so showed the ability to, to use STM as a writing tool. In 1990, IBM demonstrated the ability to control the position of atoms. 
uh, IBM research scientist Don Eichler showed that the position of photons could be controlled precisely. Using SCM, he maneuvered 35 xenon atoms on a nickel surface in a way that they spell out the word IBM. This was achieved at high fat human super cold temperature of liquid helium. So in 1990, the scientist Don Eichler showed the ability to, to maneuver or um, yeah, atoms in a way that he, he, he was able to write or to spell out the word IBM. Uh, 35 synonyms on a nickel surface in a way that they spelled out the word IBM. This was achieved at high vacuum and uh, can um, يعني process or uh, high vacuum and super cold temperature of liquid helium. In 1991, carbon nanotubes was first discovered. In 1992, as a catalyst to stop them free. Takrir al-Nafut in 1993, a, a proposal of Nanotechnology Center was first to be uh, reported. In 1993, a quantum dot was prepared for the very first time. So in 1991, carbon tubes was discovered. Sami Ijima discovered a process to make a graphitic carbon needles like tubes ranging from 4 to 30 nanometer in diameter and 1 micron in length. And then uh, Sami uh, Ijima, who was a Japanese scientist, for the very first time he was able to discover them, uh, uh, discover a process to make graphitic carbon needles like tubes ranging from 4 to 30 nanometer in diameter and 1 micron in length. In 1992, Brex and colleagues at Mobile Oil discovered the not structured catalyst materials MCM41 and MCM48, which are being used heavily in refining crude oil as well as for drug delivery, water treatment, and other applications. In 1993, Professor Richard Smalley envisioned the first now technology center in the world. In 1993, first high quality, uh, first High quality quantum dots prepared. Murray, Nuri, and Bondi Santos are the first high quality quantum dots of nearly nano dispersed of CDS, CDSE, and uh, CDT quantum dots, which they were very small particles with interesting optical properties. In 1997, Lucy Technologies fabricated the nano transistor, which was only 60 nanometer wide and 1.2 nanometer thick. In 1999 up to early 2000s, consumer product making use of now technology be began appearing in the marketplace, including lightweight now technology enabled automobile bumpers that resist denting and scratching, golf balls that fly straighter, tennis rackets that are stiffer, therefore the ball bounces faster, baseball bats with better flex and kick, nano silver antibacterial socks clear sunscreens, wrinkle and strain resistant clothing, deep penetrating thick cosmetics, scratch resistant glass coating, faster recharging batteries for battery operated, uh, operated electric tools and improved displays for televisions, cell phones and uh, digital cameras. In 2000, Tasnir the DNA motor, the quantum mirrors, in 2001, the fuel cells. So in 2000, Lucent Technologies with Oxford University created the first DNA motor. In 2000, Ailerital announced the construction of quantum mirrors. In 2001, prototype fuel cells was made using nanotubes. Nanopores are regularly shaped nanotubes were developed as a fuel cell for hydrogen based fuels such as methanol. They grouped together, creating a high surface area ideal for catalysts. NEC Corporation announced that the latest generation weighed under 2 pounds when fully 
fuel and power a laptop for five hours before needing to refueling again. Uh, in 2001, the uh, tem is used for the nanotubes. In 2002, the trousers that are used for the In 2003, uh, the or the solar cells used for the nanoparticles. So in 2001, fluorine bumpers reported the soldering of nanotubes with e -beam. In 2002, stain repellent trousers reached the high street. Clothing embedded with nanoparticles that produce a stain repellent coating has been developed. Nanocurve khakis have the fabric fibers coated with the nano whiskers that tend to 100 nanometer length. This new stain repellent fabric is available in a number of high street street tailors and is available in trousers, shirts, and ties. In 2003, prototype nano cells produced. Prototype solar cells have been made by Nano Solar Cell INC in California. They use conducting polymers and nano-based particles. These cells are also produced in a flexible sheet, making them suitable for many applications. In 2004, a uh, TEM processor based on uh, nanomaterial and scale. So Intel, Intel company launches the Pentium 4 Prisco processor based on 90 nanometer technology. In 2005, them start with DNA as the data storage in computing system. So, um, Eric Winfrey and Paul Goldman from the California Institute of Technology developed theories for the DNA-based computation and algorithmic self-assembly in which computations are embedded in the process of nanocrystal growth. In 2006, them started with nano car. طبعا هي مو ريل كار يعني هي مو انجن بس فقط كشكل يعني والموفمنت رادوا يعني يشوفون مثلا حركة الباكي بول او الفلورين اون ميتاليك سيرفيس سو جيمس تو اند كوليجز ات تريز يونيفرسيتي بولد اي نانو سكيل كار ميد اوت اوف اوليجو فينولين فينولين ويز Alkanol axes and four spherical C60 fluorine or buckyball wheels. In response to increase in temperature, the nanocar moved around the gold surface as a result of the buckyball wheel turning as in a conventional car. At temperatures above 300 uh, centigrade, moves around too fast for the chemist to keep track of it. Even tem tem بح الريسبونس لحركة هذه النانو كار على ميتاليك سيرفيس اللي هو فور اكزامبل هنا جولد فعند زيادة درجة الحرارة تحركت الريسبونس تو انكريز ان تمبرشر ذا نانو كار موفد اراوند اون ا جولد سيرفيس از ا ريزولت اوف ذا باكي بول ويلز تورنج از ان ذا كونفينشنال كار اذا بدت بالتحرك على السيرفيس نتيجة لحركة a movement with the ball wheels on the surface of the gold. But when the temperature is 300 centigrade, the speed of the chemist is the chemist is hard to follow the movement. So at temperature above 300 centigrade, it moves around too fast for the chemist to keep track of it. In 2007, they used viruses. لتحضير البطاريات. So Angela Belcher and colleagues at MIT built a lithium-ion battery with a common type of virus that is non-harmful to humans using a low-cost and environmental benign process. The batteries have the same energy capacity and power performance as state-of-the-art uh, rechargeable batteries being considered to power like in, in hybrid cars. And they could also be used up to, uh, to power personal electronic devices. In 2009 and 2010, they used the DNA to the DNA to the DNA to the DNA to the 
So not doing CMO and the colleagues at New York University created several DNA-like robotic nanoscale assembly devices. One is the process for creating 3D DNA structure using synthetic sequence of DNA crystals that can be programmed to self-assemble using sticky ends and placement in a set order and orientation. Nano electrons could benefit the flexibility and the density that 3D nano and nanoscale components allow could enable assembly for parts that are smaller, more complex, and more closely spaced. Another semen, uh, another semen creation with the uh, the colleagues at China's Nanjing University is the DNA assembly line. For this work, semen showed the 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 Cavalier Prize in nanoscience in 2010. In 2010, IBM company used a silicon tip measuring only a few nanometers at its apex, similar to the tip used in atomic cross microscope. Digital wave material from a substrate to create a complete nanoscale 3D relief map of the world, one one thousandth the size of a grain source in 2 minutes and 23 seconds. This activity demonstrates a powerful patterning methodology for generating nanoscale patterns and structures as small as 15 nanometers at greatly reduced cost and complexity, opening up new prospects for fields such as electronics, optoelectronics, and medicine. In, in 2010, uh, IBM uh, company uh, used a, a silicon tip measuring only a few nanometers, and then the tip of the stephanometer. The IBM company uh, stuck them at the uh, tip, a uh, few nanometers, the measurement matter, the size matter, a few nanometers, silicon tip measuring only a few nanometers at its apex, similar to the tip uh, used in atomic force microscope. Stuck them at the tip, the next, the technical pattern, which is the next, the the world. بال uh, uh, 15 nanometer length scale ب 2 minutes and يعني خلال دقيقتين و 23 seconds هاي حتى بس لشوف قدرتها على التحكم بهذا السكيل ومقدرتها على uh, إنتاج يعني إمكانية الشركة على إنتاج uh, patterns بهذه uh, بهذه الدقة وهذا الحجم وهذه الكلفة طبعاً هذا opening up new prospects for fields such as electronics, uh, optoelectronics, and medicine. In 2013, uh, Stanford researchers developed the first carbon nanotubes computer.